this is where the products were made mm -hmm. um, before the uh, loan from the London Rebuilding Society, which enabled it to be uh, taken up to a factory um, where it could be most produced on a larger scale. Um, so I had this and another processing unit, and this is a bottling machine. Originally, it all came through the beer tap here. So it's literally a case of holding the bottle and um, putting it under the tap, turning the tap on, turning it off, screwing the cap on, and doing that many hundreds and thousands of times. Amazing. Um, so yeah, this uh, machine then helped because it, it sucks the air out of the bottle, mm. and then that display then the air, so the air sucked out, and then the liquid displaces it. So um, that helped production a lot. Because with the tap. The labelling is all done here, actually by hand. Um, so the um, bottle, this is a log, high, a high tech piece of kit. <laughs> the bottle will be put on there. And um, I'm not sure I've got some paper labels here. Here's some of the old style paper labels. So um, that's not kind of dirty bottle, is it? On the mixtures, we sort of wiped down by hand, <laughs> put on there. And this is uh, another sort of invention of mine. Well, I didn't invent it, it's basically a larger version of a, um, a stamp westening machine. So the uh, label would go on like that. And then we put on the side of the, uh, of the bottle there. And then uh, sort of pushed on like that. And that would be the uh, finished product. It was recycled paper, which is good, um, but you can't use that kind of label in a bottling uh, in a labelling machine. So it was important to move over to plastic labels, and also they're more durable. So moved over to these plastic labels. Still got some of these left from the old batch. I find the end. So <laughs> here they are. That was uh, no longer needed then. I sit this chair. Like into the museum with uh, <laughs> green oil. Yeah, like one of those old, uh, what are they called? Old farm museums or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the boss will be wiped down like that and uh, then put on there. It's important to have this to get the height, that's why there's a log there. Because if you have it down there, you have to kind of hunch over a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be good for my back. So I'll pull the label off and stick it on there. It's actually quite a knack to this. It took a while to kind of get that speed good. up. Yeah, and that was the finished product. Um, what was your capacity like uh, doing it this manual way? Up to a thousand a week, actually. Um, so sales were between, um, yeah, anything between sort of fifty and five hundred a week. So yeah, it was tricky.